Just talking about, obviously, your time here at the club then, you worked under some great managers, Jock Steen. Um, you obviously then reunited with, with Jock over at Celtic and enjoyed great success. You won the league, you won the cup. If he had stayed in charge of the Hibs, do you feel that Hibs would have ended that cup hoodoo and, and perhaps won the league again? Um, it's, I think there was there, there'd been a, a real good chance that we would have done that. You know, it was a real you know, was, Hibs were running up and uh, and he left. It was after, it was towards the end of the season when he left. You know, and we were we were going well in the league and we were going well in the cup. Um, I, it was, it's, I think people say that he moved because other circumstances dictated that. You know, the, the fact that Celtic needed them right away, actually. I think that was the case. Uh, but, I mean, had he stayed, I think we'd have won something there. Definitely. And obviously, those events that happened, the Real Madrid friendly and, and Barcelona, everything like that, I know you weren't obviously directly involved in something just before you kind of really established yourself in, in the team, but those famous European nights here, it must have been just a, a pleasure to watch as a spectator and then later to be involved with as a player. Yeah, well I, I can remember coming down here to see Hibs playing the likes of Roma and teams like that and then coming down to see them play Barcelona. Um, magical nights, you know, great nights at Easter Road. And then to think that years, a few, not that long after that, you know, Real Madrid here and you were actually playing against them. Um, that was a real big thing as well but uh, some terrific games here really in the European nights so it was a great place to be